In this video, we'll be installing Waydroid on the Google Pixel 3a running Ubuntu Touch. So first we'll go into the open store and download the Waydroid helper app. Once installed, it will help us install Waydroid a lot faster than the older methods. So when you open the app, you can see the install and a few other options. Click install and agree. Hit start and enter your password. Then it will begin to download the files needed and install all on its own. It does take a while, so you can skip ahead to when it is finished installing. Once it's done installing, it will reboot on its own. You'll see the screen turn black as if it's turned off, but wait just a few minutes and it will start to reboot. Again, this takes a little bit longer than expected, but be patient and it will happen. If it doesn't in the same amount of time as you see in this video, then something may have gone wrong. Maybe you need to charge the phone and start all over again. But here it's rebooting. And once we boot into Ubuntu Touch, we will have access to Waydroid.
if you run into any problems with WayDroid, such as an unfinished installation, you can first uninstall it using the WayDroid Helper app, which is seen at the end of this video. So here we have WayDroid installed, and we just press on it, and this will open, and this will open the Android container using WayDroid. And there you have it. So we have Android running here on Ubuntu Touch. Aurora Store is already installed where you can download the apps. And it's a pretty much full functioning Android device running in a container. Here I'm installing an app just to show you its functionality. Again, I'd like to note that WayDroid is really in early development and is not reliable as a daily driver, but if you want to test it out, then here it is. So there are a few other features in the WayDroid Helper app. When WayDroid crashes, and it will, you'll see that it won't open and you won't be able to run the installed Android apps. Normally you would have to reboot the phone and open WayDroid again, but using the WayDroid Helper app, you can simply install this WayDroid Stop app, which will run the terminal command for you to stop WayDroid, and then you can start it again without rebooting, or without having to run the command from the terminal. So there, having stopped it, I can press WayDroid again, and it should be back to functional usage. Sometimes you'll notice that there are multiple WayDroid icons in the app drawer. Usually a quick refresh of the apps will make them go away. Also conveniently in the WayDroid Helper app is an uninstall script. So if your WayDroid installation gets broken somehow or you just don't want WayDroid on your Ubuntu Touch device anymore, you can go right into the WayDroid Helper app and use the uninstall function. So again, after a long reboot, in this case, WayDroid will be uninstalled and you will be able to have a clean Ubuntu Touch installation. I hope this video was helpful, and again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.